So what I try to tell people is even if a place calls itself a no-kill shelter, it still may euthanize and probably does. It's just that they have to euthanize 10% um, or less of their total live their total outcomes. So that's not their total population. That's not their total intake. That's their outcomes. So if they have 100 outcomes, only 10 can be euthanasia as selected by the shelter. Owner intended euthanasia doesn't count. So a kill shelter is anything above that, right? So if you have 89% of your animals leave, you know, 89% of your outcomes are live releases, um, you are a kill shelter. You are not a no-kill shelter. That's a one, that might be one animal that came in and is dangerous or we had it for a little bit and its kidneys started to fail, right? Um, it's not anyone's fault, it just happens.